part of the process of teaching myself to work was that I'd made up movies on the back of my eyelids long before I ever shot them. Um, and that by the time I was in graduate school, I could run on an entire movie in, the, in my head and see it shot for shot. Jan Kadar, I worked for for two years while I was at the American Film Institute. He used to like, test me on it. He'd give me a, a Fellini movie, some, some really complicated movie, complicated European movie, and he'd say, go learn it. Now by that he meant, he didn't mean, you know, tell him what the plot was. He meant, learn the movie. And he tests me by having me sit, he sit me in a, at a desk, give me a pile of paper and say, okay, write down the shots. Not some of the shots, not what were the memorable moments. No, every shot in the movie, shot for shot, in sequence, where it was, what, you know, basically was it a dolly or a close up of the girl or whatever. If I had wanted to be a violinist or something, I would have, you know, good musicians have hundreds of scores up in their head. Um, they don't need to read the sheet music, they know it, they have. If you study at that level, you would need to know, um, you need to know music that intensely, that closely. Um, Part of my training, they just, um, Jan tried to insist that, um, that I'd have to learn to deal with pictures that intensely, um, so that I'd live in a world of pictures, um, and how pictures are arrived at, what is the sequence of pictures, so that I didn't really need to write out storyboards of what's the movie look like. Um, what you need storyboards for are to communicate with other people about a specific picture, particularly if you're doing a movie that has special effects. You have to storyboard those. You have to do a drawing. What's the shot supposed to look like? So, because you need to discuss at great length and probably with lawyers and all sorts of nonsense you have to work out a contract for how much will it cost to do this picture so the more specific you are the better it works and that you storyboard for um, storyboarding to just you know um, try to figure out what the movie's supposed to look like or something is you know, it's a little silly You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Jesse and I never talked politics. I had no clue that this guy would ever, you know, go on to become such a, a national figure. I don't want to get stereotyped and put into just one bracket of being a this or that. In fact, I'm already signed, sealed, and delivered. I'm going back to L.A. and taking a few weeks. Oh, I'm going back to Minneapolis, my home, taking a few weeks off and get with my kids again, and then I'm going to L.A. and I'm doing a children's show which my agent feels will be excellent for my career to show the versatility going from wrestling to combat to a kid's show. I was really thrilled to learn that when he went into politics. Because we could tell he was a really bright guy. He was a lot more than just some former Green Beret or something. So you ultimately you know? want a real broad range of stuff. I would like to. I think I'm that good. And I think I can play anything. If I can remember correctly, no matter how much I would do no matter how much Arnold would do, uh, whether it was training, drinking, smoking stogies, Jesse Ventura would do more. If the people of Minnesota really knew about this stogie deal, we might have a few stogies sort of around, I don't know, around the uh, governor's mansion, hidden here and there. I really don't understand why that's not on the flag in Minnesota right now. Being the wrestler that I am, I, I like my situation of coming into the movies at this point in time because it's going to stop me from becoming like Hulk Hogan. Now, granted, Hulk Hogan's a tremendous wrestling personality, but that's all he's ever going to be. He's Hulk Hogan for life now. I, can, I still feel Jesse Ventura can come out and be Sergeant Blaine. Jesse Ventura can come out and be an astronaut. Jesse Ventura can out and be, be, be this, be that, a cowboy, or anything like that. But uh, oh, I, my, Do you want to know what my ultimate goal is in Hollywood? 
I would love to do a film with Robert De Niro. I'm a big Robert De Niro fan, and uh, I, I would really enjoy doing something with him sometime. Sophie's out there listening. I'm available, De Niro. <laughs> <laughs>